Hello everyone, this is Southern Bell Whisper, and I am so glad that you decided to join me in my first coffee and book review video. Um, as you guys know, I am a huge I should call myself Bookworm Whisper when I made my video, but at the time I just wanted to make a channel. I didn't really care what I called it myself. So, anyways, I am about five pages away from. seen the women's war the nightingale tells the stories of two sisters separated by years and experience by ideals passion and circumstance each embarking on her own dangerous path towards survival love and freedom in german occupied war torn france a heartbreakingly beautiful novel that celebrates the resonance of the human spirit durability of women. It is a novel for everyone. A novel for a lifetime. So. I had a lot of people recommend this book to me. And at first I was like, yeah, I don't know because I'm more into true books like this is based, in a way, on true events because we all know that um, the Nazis and Adolf Hitler and the Holocaust and World War II all happened. So in a way it was true. It was just based on fictional characters. But you guys, The, the Nightingale by Christine. really starts off with um, two sisters. Um, one is named Isabel and she's like a very daring girl that doesn't follow the rules and at the beginning of the book she is actually kicked out of like her fifth boarding school that she has attended. She's just very strong will strong willed and she doesn't go by the rules and she leaves in fighting fighting for what's right and then her sister is like the exact opposite her husband at the beginning gets um, signed in to fight in the war and she has to stay home with their daughter Sophie and I don't want to tell much about what happens in the book because I don't want to I will say that she has a German officer stay with her at her home and she can't do nothing about it and she doesn't want to leave the home that she shares with her husband so she decides to stay and, um, and then Isabel goes and finds a way to help and to pretty much fight and save people and it's just 
their two stories, and then there are parts in the book where they, where Isabel and Vienna, this other sister's name, are, to, sorry, that's my stomach, are together in the same household. Holocaust and what happened with Adolf Hitler back in the 40s. Um, it's something that I've been interested in. Not a, I mean, in a good way. It's just, you know how people are like those videos online where people talk about true crime and they make a video about it and I, I love those as well. That's how the Holocaust was for me. When I was in fifth grade, I watched the video, um, the movie, The Diary of Anne Frank. And we had been talking about World War II, but I had no idea about the Holocaust yet. And at the beginning of the movie, I was like, okay, what's the big deal? Okay, what are they hiding from? And then as it got towards the end of the movie, I was like, oh, they're hiding from because they're Jews, you know, that they're, they're supposed to be sent to concentration camps. And then, at the end of the movie, when Anne Frank and her family and their friends get um, imprisoned in the war camp, and you find out that Anne Frank actually died, and her diary was left behind, I was the only person crying in that room that day at the end of that movie. And Frank is a huge inspiration for me to live my life to the fullest. And this book is kind of like that. That's why I love this book so, so much. Because it's about resilience. It's about bravery. definitely recommend it to anyone. Um, I thought it was going to be hard to read because usually books this long are hard to read like Game of Thrones. I cannot even read that book. It's so confusing to me. But I read this book really fast. It's very easy to read. There are parts where they speak in German. But that ain't too bad. Or French. Yeah, French and German, actually. Oh, and they also live in France. So. And you don't hear a lot about France. About. With the Holocaust, you hear mostly about, you know, Amsterdam. And you hear like Poland, Holland, but you, you don't hear a bunch about France. So that was another great thing about this book was it was set in France. And there's the Eiffel Tower right here. Reads best historical novel of the year, People's Choice favorite fiction winner, number one indie next selection, BuzzFeed best of the year, The Wall Street Journal best of the year, and The Week best of the year. This is a pretty important book that is, and I'm so glad I got it for my collection. I really am. It's something that I'm going to pass down to my kids one day. They can read it and they can 
find out what happened years ago. It's hard to believe that happened almost 80 years ago. Wow. But yeah, definitely read this book if you are a book reader. I definitely recommend it. And look, my coffee's almost gone. I love this cup, by the way. I love these big soup cups. hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys later and just remember it's the nightingale by Christine